Hi, it's December 16th, and you know what that means? I've got to go to the DMV. It's my annual trip. Here we go. So most people go to the DMV, I don't know, I think they, in Pennsylvania anyway, I think that they apply for their camera card and when they get their picture taken then they have that for the next four years but if you guys haven't figured it out already I am not like other people not that I'm special I just um, I just got my license back in 2020 and if you click you can hear the story about that the license that I have is probationary. So that means that I have to apply for it every year. I also have to pay $98 every year in order for me to be able to drive. Um, but it's a small price to pay. I'm super grateful that I can drive. I'm super grateful that, uh, that I have the capacity to do that. And so here we are, off to the DMV. So here's the deal. I can't take you guys in with me, but let's time it. Let's see how long does it take to get through the line to get your picture taken at the DMV. Time check. I'm back. It took literally seven minutes to go into the DMV and out of the DMV. And I gotta tell you, my experience was not what Dave's experience was. Those two ladies were so happy and so nice. They carried on a conversation and they thought my haircut looked good. So I was reading this thing this morning and I loved it, so I wanna share it with you guys. And maybe maybe that's why the ladies at the DMV were so nice to me, because, um, but anyway, it said that so many people you know, they think that they have to obtain happiness. Like it comes from things or money or, you know, something other than that. And uh, this devotion that I read said, happiness is a byproduct of doing the right thing. And I thought the right thing, the right thing is to be kind to people, to be compassionate, to, um, you know, if somebody has their turn signal on in traffic, you let them in. If you see somebody coming behind you, you hold the door open. Um, just common courtesies and maybe smile at people, especially this time of year. It seems as if people are stressed and they're on their last nerve and when you smile at them, like, it can mean so much. And I don't know about you, but I have found that when I am, you know, being kind and compassionate and loving towards others, that's when I feel the most love and compassion inside too. It's just a very interesting, you know, upside down comment, or ah, <laughs> an upside down paradox, you know? So yeah. Those ladies just must have, um, they must have decided or they had noticed that their happiness came as a byproduct of doing, doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. 